I'm filing out the hole a little bit to allow for a little bit more free movement of the rod. And this is again that construction concrete anchor. Now for the ramps, I'm using, these are bed frame rails from King and Queen Beds. I'm cutting a little notch on one side of it to allow for the, it to sit on top of the, the edge of the ramp, of the, um, of the trailer. And since there's a little bit of a warp to the 2x6, I clamped them down so that they would line up straight with the angle irons and then I'll I drilled holes in the side of the angle iron and I'm going to use deck screws and sc screw them to the 2 by 4 the nice thing about the bed rails is they are tempered steel so they're fairly thin and they're very strong And I'm going to use two of these on each side for each ramp. And I'm drilling a hole for the, the anchoring pin to hold the ramp in place. And these I'm just using, going to use quarter inch stainless steel bolts to slide it. They'll just slide in. I'm drilling through the wood so that it lines up. I did a weight test on them just to see. And it turns out these are very strong. The, the wood only deflected about maybe a quarter inch. This was my first test fit of it. This is the apparatus to attach a fender to. This is also made out of bed frame rail. It's a little bit undersized, but it'll do what I need it to do. I used clamps and wood to set the alignment, and then I'll weld it in place. In that shot, you can see the cleats I used to hold the skid plate in place. And also, I piggybacked uh, a piece of flat iron alongside of those uh, cross rails. And that's the finished structure for the fenders.